Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Cherno and welcome to another video. So, this is kind of like, man, I keep tripping over stuff. This is, this is ridiculous. Welcome to another one of these videos. This is kind of like a new style that I'm bringing to my channel where I'm going to basically, um, it's kind of like a vlog style uh, thing where I go out because I do actually end up traveling a lot and going to cool places is where I kind of go out and then I'm going to be talking about specific things and answering questions that you guys kind of provide um, questions I, that I get a lot and don't really have the chance to answer in other videos because they're so technical and they're like tutorials so let me know what you think of this new format because it still is new this is like my second vlog um, I think it's pretty cool I think it's something new something different Hopefully you guys agree with me. So today we're out here in the woods, um, if you can call them woods, because I mean, I am. This is this is Australia, and woods are kind of uh, questionable in in Australia, so to speak. Love to go to Europe and get go to some woods. In fact, I am going to Europe later this year in about a month or so. So definitely going to be some cool footage there. But anyway, the question that I want to answer today is one is probably the biggest question that I get just. Ever. This question honestly is the most asked question on all social media platforms that I just get all the time. And that question is what is the trick to learning programming? How do I learn programming quickly? And today I'm going to tell you that trick because the trick is actually extremely simple and I'm not going to make this video 10 minutes long and start kind of leading up to this. I'm just going to tell you straight. I'm going to tell you how it is. Practice. So many people just want to learn programming quickly, whether that be because they want to make games or they want to make websites or they want to make apps for mobile devices. They just want to learn programming as, so as quickly as possible so that they can just start releasing these games and apps and all of that stuff. And so they try and find videos online or books or courses or anything that will just teach them programming quickly because they think that I just need to find the right course and then that'll teach me exactly how it needs to get taught. And whilst I do agree that some courses in general are much better than others and will teach you quickly because they're teaching you stuff that you actually need to know not kind of the superficial level stuff there's no trick to it you just have to get down and do the work and if you actually start doing that then you will learn much much faster that being said, the recommended way to learn a language is going to depend on that language and also what you want to do with the language but I honestly recommend buying a book because books are incredible resources if you go to anyone's like office, if you go to any workplace, like for example, I work at EA Games, and at EA Games, we've got an entire library of books. Why? Because books are really, really precious. People underestimate them now in the video age. I do make videos, and I try to make them as high quality as I can. If you guys don't know, I do have a C++ series on this channel, which I'm trying to make as in-depth and as complete and as good as possible. Link to that will be in the description below. But overall, Books are such a precious resource because books are things that authors actually put time into. Books are things that people actually sell and make money off of and, and authors make a living from selling books. And because of that, the quality is much, much higher. You know, you can't, you won't find like some teenager who's just started programming just making it right, like just writing a book and putting it out there. Whereas you will find videos of that on YouTube because YouTube is a free platform. So people do underestimate books, but books in a lot of ways can teach you much better than any videos and I've actually linked my favorite books for a number of languages below so there'll be a link in the description so you guys can go buy them if you so choose to but just a consideration give books a shot and those books are my favorites anyway getting back to it that the one trick to learning programming is practice you need to actually start writing code I really like comparing this to learning a musical instrument for example you're trying to learn how to play guitar or piano you can watch so many videos online you can read so many books but unless you actually pick up the instrument and you start playing it you're not gonna get anywhere right if I watch a hundred videos on how to play a guitar riff but I never touch a guitar when I finally do touch a guitar I'm not gonna be able to play that riff am I no way I need you need to actually 
You need to actually practice it. You need to get the muscle memory in. Programming is exactly the same. I don't know why people can't understand that. Programming is exactly the same as learning any other skill. You need to actually practice. So my recommendation is that you stop this video, you stop watching videos of people programming, you open whatever IDE or text editor you want to be using, you, and you just start programming. Just give it a shot. Stop this video right now after liking it. Stop this video right now and just start programming. Start writing code. If you get stuck, guess what? You can Google whatever your question may be, right? If I was building a website and I didn't know how to center a text element on the screen, I can Google that. I can be like, hey Google, how do I, how do I center a text element in the screen in CSS or in HTML or whatever it is that you're using? That's how you learn. You start actually, you take on a project and you start writing code. If you keep watching videos, if you keep thinking, I don't know enough to start working on this game that I've always wanted to, you're never going to know enough because you know what? I've been working in the professional industry in core technology at, at EA for two and a half years and I still feel like I don't know anywhere near enough to be doing the stuff that I am doing. But guess what? When you actually start doing it, when you start implementing that huge feature that you've been assigned to do, you get stuff done. You learn, you ask questions, and you get stuff done. So that's it. That's the trick. You need to actually start programming. Practice it. Start experimenting with things. That's another really important point. Tweak things. If you've read a tutorial online and you've copied all that code, try and change it. Try and see what happens. If you're trying to learn C++, change the compiler settings and see what happens. Maybe change an optimization settings. Look at the generated assembly code. Just experiment with things. People back in the day when they were working on cars, for example, didn't have the internet. They didn't have all of these resources. They might have lived in some remote village where there wasn't even a library. And how did they learn? How did they learn to modify their car or fix their car? They experimented. They opened the hood. They started changing parts. They started taking stuff out and seeing what each part did. That is what you need to do. You need to just seriously try this. I'm being 100% serious right now. Try this. Just go offline for a few days and see what you can actually do just using your IDE or just using what you already know. And when you reach a problem, don't Google it, right? For once in your life, don't Google your way out of something. Try and actually fix it yourself. It doesn't matter how bad your solution is. But when I started programming, I came up with with just such incredibly complex solutions to problems that required one line of code to actually do what I wanted them to do because I didn't know better. But the point is, I tried doing stuff like that. Once, once you've got your thing working, then maybe you can go research what the correct way or what the optimal way to do what you were trying to do is. But just give it a shot yourself. Experiment, play around with the code. You will learn so much. You just have to trust me on this and give it a shot. So that's it. It's pretty simple. That's really all there is to it. You just need to actually put time into it and you'll get good. All right, anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say today. Really, really nice place that I'm in right now in the forest here. I'm gonna be posting some of these photos to Instagram. Link will be in the description below. Make sure that you follow me there if you wanna see those sweet photos. And also one other thing that I've been doing, which is pretty cool I think, on Instagram is I've been using the Instagram story feature to actually just update people with what I'm doing today and how I'm actually filming videos. So my future videos, I actually edit and put up shots of that onto my Instagram story. So you can catch some pretty exclusive content there that obviously expires after a day. So make sure that you follow me there because there's some pretty sweet stuff going on on Instagram. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this style of videos. Again, I'm hoping to do a lot more of these in the future. If you have any suggestions for future videos, just leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.